Hello and welcome to Doctor's Orders here at the Chrissy B Show. I'm Dr. Rob Hicks. Today we're going to be talking about the problem erectile dysfunction, which you may know also as impotence. It means the inability to have or sustain an erection for satisfactory sex. And actually, erectile dysfunction is relatively common. Research suggests that around about one in two men between the ages of 40 and 70 suffer with the problem. Now, sometimes it's a temporary problem. It's related to stress, anxiety, being tired, too much alcohol, or using recreational drugs. But for many men, it's a much longer term problem. And usually, when that's the case, there is an underlying physical cause. So for example, the arteries are narrowed or the nerves are damaged. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes will damage the arteries, will make them narrowed, impeding the blood flow through to the penis, making it difficult for it to cause an erection. Diabetes also damages the nerves. And another possible cause of erectile dysfunction is side effects from medication. So if you are on medication and you have the problem, have a look at the information leaflet and have a, look, you know, have a chat with your doctor and see whether actually there's a different medication that you can take as an alternative that won't have erectile dysfunction as a side effect. Now there are also emotional causes of erection problems, so stress, anxiety, depression, having relationship problems are often responsible. But it's not just the physical side that causes the problem. There's a knock-on effect of this problem. Men become very stressed, they become very anxious, and that in fact makes the problem worse. Erectile dysfunction can sadly result in relationship breakdown, and it can certainly lessen a person's quality of life. The other important thing about this condition is that just as the arteries to the penis may be narrowed, the arteries in the rest of the body may be narrowed and damaged as well. So for example, those go into the heart, those go into the brain. So we must think about erectile dysfunction as being a major risk factor for other problems related to the arteries in the body, like heart attacks and strokes. So this might be a way that you're able to raise the question and ask for information from your doctor if you're feeling a bit awkward about raising the subject. Say to your doctor, I think I need a blood pressure check, doctor, or be tested for diabetes, because I've heard that can damage the arteries. It might damage my heart. It may even affect my erections. And a doctor will tune into that, and then you'll be able to discuss the, the, pro the problem without feeling inhibited or embarrassed. Now, thankfully, there are many treatments available for erectile dysfunction. The first step is often discussing the problem with your partner because sometimes misunderstandings arise and if you chat about the problem with each other, this can get rid of those misunderstandings and actually sometimes just solve the problem. A healthy lifestyle is essential, not smoking, not drinking too much alcohol, eating a healthy diet and regular exercise will all help. And for those men who need to lose a little bit of weight, sometimes losing that weight actually brings back the erections. Now I probably don't need to tell you about the different tablet forms of treatment for this condition, but there are other treatments as well. There's an injection, there's a pellet, there's a cream, there are vacuum pumps. So as you can see, there's also psychological counselling. So there's lots of different things that men can do to overcome this problem. And indeed, their partners can help in this respect. So just to put everything into perspective, this is a very common problem. There's absolutely no need to be embarrassed about it. And there is treatment available. And the reality is, getting treated for erectile dysfunction won't just help save your love life, it may actually save your life in general. So if you've got any problems with this part of the body and you'd like some advice and some information, then do have a chat with your own doctor. And that's Doctor's Orders.